Hi dudes, Climax 4 explain here. Today I will demonstrate to you a 2018 American science fiction action movie called Kin. The movie starts in a discarded and half-destroyed factory where it appears like a battle is transpiring inside. A few moments later, an explosion goes off, causing a huge hole in the walls. The scene shifts to a young boy called Elijah who is just suspended from school after causing some trouble. Since his dad can't make it to the school, a teacher offers to drive him home. Shortly after, he visits a grave and then rides his bike around the factory to collect some old junk. He ultimately arrives at the abandoned factory shown in the beginning of the movie and sneaks into the place. While analyzing, he is very shocked when he discovers several dead bodies equipped with super advanced guns and modern suits. Eli tries to touch the gun and accidentally starts it with his thumb, but he doesn't realize that. The dead body near the gun begins to move, which frightened Eli and he instantly escapes from the factory and rides home. Ellis' father, Hal Salinsky, returns home and is very disappointed with his boy's attitude. While helping his dad, Eli claims that he attacked his schoolmate because he was talking ill of his mother, which ended up in a suspension for him. Hal understands that and gives word of information to his son, telling that he acts hard towards him because the world is hard. That evening, Ellis' brother, Jimmy, ultimately comes home after spending six years of his life in prison. He examines the house and accidentally spots Eli's dirty shoes. He promises his brother that he will give him a new pair. The family then have an uncomfortable and tense dinner where Jimmy asks his dad whether he can get a job on the site, but Hal refuses to help him as he is an ex-con. Dissatisfied, Jimmy walks out from the dinner and heads over to his former employer's house to finish old business. Upon arrival, it is disclosed that Jimmy owes the drug dealer, Taylor Batty, 60 grand and he notifies them that he doesn't have the money with him now. Taylor is unhappy with the data and threatens him that he and the gang will go after his family. Jimmy talks to his dad about the debt and endeavors to borrow money from him, but Hal is not enthusiastic in that. He then mentions a safe that is kept in Hal's office, planning to steal the cash from there. Hal furiously forbids him from doing so and kicks him out of the house instantly. Before he leaves, Jimmy is upset that his father has erased every trace of him in the house, revealing that Eli is really a replacement son. Meanwhile, Eli quietly returns to the deserted factory where finds the alien gun and decides to take it with him because it looks cool. The next day, Hal comes to be enraged when he finds out that his son is stealing some junk to gain some cash. He then takes Eli with him to the construction site where he works, but Hal notes something odd and tells his son to wait in the car. He walks to the office where he confronts Jimmy, Taylor, and his gang are trying to break into the safe. Jimmy warns his dad not to intervene, but he insists, ordering them to put the money back. Taylor then shoots Hal, but Jimmy instantly grabs the gun and fires Taylor's henchman, comprising his brother Dutch who is shot in the neck. Hal dies in the process and Jimmy uses this chance to grab the money and rushes to the car. He drives the car away in panic while lying to Eli, telling that their dad calls him to pick him off since he is busy. They return home to take everything necessary and Jimmy determines to take Eli with him to flee to Lake Tahoe. Afterward, the gangsters arrive at Hall's house, but find nobody. Taylor holds a funeral for his brother and orders all his men to hunt Jimmy. On the other angle, two soldiers, who talk in foreign language, arrive at the abandoned factory to retrieve the alien gun, but couldn't find it as it was taken by Eli. After driving far, they determine to stay overnight in a motel where Eli discovers that the alien gun has three unique attacking types. Jimmy also achieves his promise to get his brother a new pair of shoes. The following morning, Eli sneaks away to the car and attempts to call his dad, but no one answers, thus he sends a voicemail to him, disclosing his final destination to Taylor, who turns out still holding Hall's phone. Afterward, they proceed their journey to the west and Jimmy brings his brother to a strip club where he shows him how to flirt with a dancer, Millie. She ratifies Jimmy's invitation to get drunk with him and acts friendly towards him and Eli after that. Millie goes back to work and the brothers proceed drinking. Jimmy constantly dodges when being asked about him and his dad. At some point, he gets drunk and attempts to go on stage to dance with Millie. The club owner, Lee, and the bouncers try to stop him, but Jimmy keeps acting cocky and ends up getting beaten up continually. Eli runs to snatch his alien gun and threatens the bouncers with it. 
A falling pool cue startles him, and he fires the weapon at the table, damaging it into pieces. Millie, Jimmy, and Eli then escape from the club and drive away. They pull over for a while and Jimmy attempts to activate the gun, but it closes up. Eli then strives to indicate the gun's capability by firing it towards haystacks. Soon after, Jimmy recognizes that he left a bag full of money in the club. The three asterisk then stays at a motel where Millie asks about Ellis' scar in the hand. He claims that he got it from his original parents. Later that darkness, Millie proposes a plan to get the money back from Lee, but she wants a cut of the cash if the heist is successful, to which he agrees. The three drive to a cow farm and the brothers sneak into the shelter where they confront Lee and his friends. Jimmy endangers to shoot them with the alien gun if they don't comply while ordering Lee to return the money. After obtaining the money back, the two escape. While being chased by the men. Lucky for them, they still organize to flee after Eli launches a huge blast at a car. Meanwhile, the soldiers appear at the club, releasing a super advanced device that allows them to see what was transpiring there. They also manage to identify Elijah with a gun. The following day, they stop for a moment at the casino and book a hotel room for a night. There, Jimmy feels uneasy and feels guilty for what he had done. To relieve the stress, he supposes to waste the money at the casino. While eating, Eli sees the news on the TV, learning that his dad has been killed and the police believe the brothers as the culprit. He rushes to the casino and confronts Jimmy. Knowing that they may be in trouble, they attempt to escape, but get arrested by the local officers. On the other side, Taylor is informed about Jimmy's arrest and he instantly heads over to the police station. Back to Jimmy, he ultimately tells the truth about him and Taylor stealing money from their father's safe and how Hal ended up dead. He admits guilt to Eli, who seems very upset with his brother. A few minutes later, Taylor and the gang arrive at the police station where they ruthlessly eradicate the police one by one. One of the officers enters the room where Eli stays. The boy begs him to disclose the location of his gun, then the officer reluctantly gives the key to him and orders him to go to the evidence room. Taylor discovers Jimmy and drags him out of his custody. He doesn't want to assassinate Jimmy yet, as he waits for Eli to show up and watch his brother getting killed. Eli appears with his gun and directly fires it towards one of the men. The gunfights ensue, but it is a one-sided fight as Eli organizes to eliminate each gangster just with one shot. At some point, he switches the gun style and fires it, releasing a huge blast that destroys the whole corridor. Meanwhile, the FBI arrives and surround the place. Jimmy understands that there is no way out now and orders Eli to surrender. He admits guilt to his brother but doesn't expect him to forgive him either. Just after they kneel down, Taylor unexpectedly comes out of nowhere, pointing his gun at Jimmy. Nonetheless, just before Taylor pulls the trigger, the soldiers charge towards the police station with their superbikes. The police endeavor to take them down by shooting them continuously, but to no avail as their helmets and suits are bulletproof. One of them throws a grenade, which freezes everyone inside the room except Elijah. Taylor has fired the gun and the bullet is heading towards Jimmy. They approach Eli, who is freaked out and pointing his gun at them. They then disclose themselves and the man claims that Eli is one of them, that's why he is able to initiate and regulate the alien weapon. He also shows the same scars in his hand, which makes Eli trust him and supposes to hand over the weapon to him. After that, the woman opens up a portal to another dimension. The man forbids Eli to go with them as their planet is in a war. Before they leave, the woman diverts the bullet towards Taylor's head. Time goes back to normal and the bullet ultimately hits Taylor. At the same moment, SWAT blows up the door and catches the brothers. Jimmy is taken to custody again and Agent Morgan Hunter talks to Eli, but he denies to disclose the weapon's whereabouts. She then walks away while saying that they are not done. Millie ultimately arrives for Eli and as he sees her, his hand starts to glow. And that's it. If you are a lover of similar content like this take a look at my distinct videos and if you love it, please break the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to catch sight of you in the successive video.